All right, guys, here's just a short example of how to find percent of change in case you need any help on tonight's homework. Remember, we have our percent proportion. So notice up here we have the amount of change. This means our difference. So we're going to have to subtract here over the original amount equal to percent over 100. All right, so here's a short example. Let's say our original price is $40 and our new price is $20. So using our proportion, the number that is always constant is that 100. Okay, we're looking for the percent of change. Now our original is gonna be that $40 that goes on the bottom. And then we're gonna have to subtract 40 minus 20 which gives us $20. So that's gonna go on top of the 40. Okay, now we have the option to simplify or cross multiply and divide. So most of you are gonna choose the cross multiply. 100 times 20 is gonna give us 2,000. And we have 40X. 40X equals 2,000. So we're going to divide by 40. So we use top in, bottom out. 2,000 goes in the box. Divided by 40. Well, 40 doesn't fit into 20, so we're going to look into 200. And 40 goes into 200 five times. We bring down that zero. It goes in zero times, and we are done. So our answer here would be a 50% decrease. Hope that helped you some, and just as a reminder, don't forget you have to do Tuesday's homework column today. See you all tomorrow. Bye.